Hey everyone, so no flashy intro for this video. This video is coming out as a sort of reference video for me to go back to in the future and something that I feel we really need, especially with the Atlas Earth Basic Guide and Optimal Strategy Guides, as well as any Math Behind videos. It's a very critical part of just everything that we do at the Beer Money Engine channel. Um, so chances are you will likely have gotten referred to this video by one of these videos and with the exception of WWB has been recorded and published before them. This is written mostly for somebody who does not deal with math in their day-to-day -day lives because while I'm sure a lot of Atlas Earth players are math nerds even more or not and this will help them understand the best way to make or retain money. So let's get to this crucial beer money math topic on expected value. So I'm going to go ahead and start a little simple here. And I went and I just kind of searched up flip a coin. So I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play a game with you. All right. So in this game, you bet $5 and I flip a coin. If you call it right, I will award you with your $5 back plus another $5. So $10. If you lose, I will take the $5 and you get nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the coin here. So uh, if you can, this here, uh, click here. There you go. I'm going to flip it, flip, and it is a, it's heads. So you win $10, the $5 that you bet plus another $5. So what we want to do here is try to figure out if this game is fair or not. And we can do this with a little thing that I mentioned earlier called expected value. So expected value in fancy math terms is the average you can expect to make from a situation. In other words, if I played this game for all of eternity, like we're talking WWB eternity here, how much will I make? To do this, we must first figure out the chance of flipping a heads and the chance of flipping a tails. Well, this is pretty easy. The chance in this case is one in two for both. So we're going to put a half on each one. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by the amount of money that we can possibly win off of it. Okay, that one's pretty easy. So how do we figure that one out? Well, what we got to do first is we have to ignore how much that we have bet. So I know I talked about, you know, you bet five bucks and then you win a certain amount of money. So when I say you win 10 bucks, you technically have won your $5 back plus the $5. So the change, we're talking about the change here in your uh, value goes up by $5 for a head. So we're gonna do that here by doing a half times plus five, and that will be for the heads. And then we are going to do uh, for tails the exact opposite basically. So you win nothing, so you lose the $5 that you bet. So it'll be a half times minus five. Then we're gonna go ahead and multiply them together and we have plus 2.5 or 250, $2.50 for heads, and minus $2.50 for tails, and then we add them all up together to get $0. Now, in expected value, uh, to determine if a game is fair or not, or biased in your favor or biased against you, you simply find out, is this positive, negative, or zero? So if it is positive, if your expected value is positive, the game is favored in your favor. If it is zero, it is a fair game. And if it is negative, then it goes against you. So let's take a look at another situation and see how we how this works based a little bit, something a little bit more complicated. Let's take a look at the game of roulette. So this here, uh, this is gonna be a little bit more complicated here. And I want to talk about, oh, click this actually. No, thank you. I got this off of just a random website on Google. Um, Roulette 77, something like that, but don't matter what it is. That's not what we're looking at here. What we are going to be looking at is, I'm gonna do something a little bit simple here. So what we have here is 36 numbers, one to 36, and we have a single zero. And this is what they call European roulette. In case you're wondering, from the Social Casinos video I talked about, there were different kinds of roulette. There's European roulette, American roulette, and French roulette uh, being the three most popular. So let's say that we're going to take a single number. Let's say I choose 26. Now, if I bet $1 on 26 and it lands, the, the ball lands on 26, I will win $36. 
So that is a payout ratio of 35 to 1. That is, I get my $1 back plus the $35 that I won. Now, if I lose, I lose that uh, $1. Okay, so we go here to the math board here, and we see that the chances of getting a 26 are 1 in 37. There's 37 numbers on the board, and there is only one number that we chose. So we're going to do 1 in 37, and then we're going to multiply it by our change in victory. And in our change in victory is plus 35. So we do that, and then we're going to uh, add on, basically, the situation where we don't get the 26, which is 36 out of 37, and we're going to multiply that by negative 1. So then uh, this is going to be a fraction problem. I'm not going to do this in decimals uh, because that's way too complicated, but... Basically, the chance of you winning comes out to an expected value of 35 over 37, um, that being the plus 35 and that. And then the chance of you losing comes out to negative 36 over 37. And so we add that together and it comes to negative 1 over 37. Now, since this is less than 0, that indicates that the house, the opponent, your opponent, that being the house, has the edge. So that means that every single time you put down $1, you can expect to lose 1 over 37. And this is with European roulette, which is 1, 0. It's even worse, as you can see here in American roulette, where there are two zeros. And then there's this triple zero roulette that's showing up in Vegas lately that has three zeros. And I can show you kind of the expected values of each here just very briefly. I know that's, this is a little bit more math than I'd really want to take in for, uh, for those who aren't super familiar with expected value. After the first two videos, I think you can kind of project where the uh, numbers are on this. And you can see the big difference here between them being negative 1 over 37, negative 2 over 37, and negative 3 over 37, respectively. That means every time you put in $1, you can expect to lose that much. Moral of that story, don't play roulette, unless, of course, you have house money. Now, you're probably wondering why expected value is very important when it comes to games of chance. And part of that is because if you plan to play for a very long time, um, the outcome, depending on if your expected value is positive, zero, or negative, will determine what that outcome of yours is. So, for example, in the case of zero, like I said, if it goes forever and ever, you're expected to make no dollars, basically. You're expected to come out with as much as you went in. With uh, positive, you're almost certainly, over the long term, able to make money and with negative you're almost certainly guaranteed well you are guaranteed actually to lose it all and part of that is because and i'm going to take an example of roulette here you can see here for every dollar that you add on and you try to or make so let's say you take 100 dollars for example and you will go ahead and lose you know one out of 37 of that so if we did that, that's a little under $3, so you're left with a little over $97. Then you go and bet that $97, and again, it's a negative 1 in 37 expected value for that $97, and then it drops to $94, and so on and so forth, until you reach a total of zero. Eventually, you will hit zero. And especially with the minimum bets, uh, as the way that they are, that you'll eventually hit a value so small that you must bet everything and you will wind up getting nothing for it in a single bet. So now that you know to a point how much the unexpected value is towards games of chance, let's use it in another situation here. And we're going to use this and apply this to a beer money app. And in this case, obviously, I'm going to use it on the app that is the most popular by far amongst those in the beer money network, and that is Atlas Earth. And what we're going to do is find the expected value of a single parcel. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to take the screen that I get from Atlas Earth that shows the amount of money that you get per second, the average amount of parcels, uh, parcel value you get per second. Now that is a lot of zeros. I know that is eight zeros with an 11, 16, 22, and 24. And the common, rare, epic, and legendary chances are 50%. 30%, 15%, and 5% respectively. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply them together in each situation and find the value of a common parcel in the situation, a rare parcel in the situation, an epic, and a legendary. And the way that I'm going to do this actually is I'm going to go ahead and remove the zeros. So in this case, it's like we're going to calculate the amount for 100 million parcels, and then we will divide it by 100 million to get the actual result. This is just so I don't have to throw so many zeros on the screen. So in this case, we are looking at 11 cents for a common, 16 cents for a rare, 22 cents for an epic, and 44 cents for a legendary. So if we take 11 cents and we multiply it by the 50% ratio of common, we get 5.5 cents. Uh, we do this again for 16 cents for a rare, multiply it by 30% to get 4.8 cents. And we continue to do this with epic, which is 22 cents times 15%, which is 3.3 cents, I believe. Yes, 3.3 cents. Of course, I'm thinking that in my head there. And finally, 44 cents times 5% for parcel is 2.2 cents. And now what we're going to do is we are going to add them up. And adding them all up together, we get 15.8 cents. And then we're going to take uh, divide that by 100 million, or in this case, just add the eight zeros back. And that is what you get, basically. That is the amount you get on the expected value you can expect from each parcel per second. And this is what we use for our guides and everything just in general, at least for my guides, at least. Like when I talk about the amount of parcels it takes to make $1 a day in Atlas Earth, for example, that's a very popular video. That's where this, uh, magic number comes from, for example. So now that you know what to do with the expected value of something, basically, whether or not it's in a game of chance or just evaluating a virtual parcel in the metaverse, in this case for Atlas Earth, you are now ready to take a look at that next video. So like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine if you have not already, and comment, and hopefully I have taught you something today. Um, if so, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, used to do a lot of math teaching, actually. I used to be a math tutor. So this is something that's pretty important to me to have people really understand what I do uh, to maintain integrity in this channel, as well as show people that, yes, in fact, um, I really do back things up with numbers. So, all right, everyone. Uh, I'll see you in the other video. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you around. Bye, everybody.